Hello out there, everybody. Um, it is coming into, or it's just around the uh, middle of October, and I am on a forest road in my favorite riding area of western North Carolina. It's called Old River Road. And um, it'll eventually dump me out or intersect with the uh, wire road, which I know a lot of you have have ridden on before. This creek or this river next to me is the uh, Nantahala River, and this conduit here, this big big ass pipe. I don't know what else to call it. I know they, when the uh, when the pipe comes, it's final downhill downhill uh, rush to the powerhouse. It's called a penstock. I don't know if it's called penstock for its entire length or at any rate, yeah, it's a it's a big pipe. Boy, these people got the road pretty well uh, entirely blocked off. Right. So, um, yeah, this thing comes from the dam that dams up that river there and forms Nantahala Reservoir. And it goes to the powerhouse, which you have probably, some of you have probably noticed there at the end of Wire Road. Here's the thing going back uphill. I suppose water is happy to flow uphill if it's got, you know, a high enough, big enough head of water behind it. So, uh, yeah, I guess as long as we're discussing it, I might as well, uh, well, it's not exactly out of the way either. I'll show you the, uh, the powerhouse when we get there. Okay, we're coming up on the Wire Road, onto Wire Road, I should say. It's a pretty little waterfall right here to the right. I wonder how well it comes out on camera. Probably not too well. Okay, here is the uh, here is the powerhouse. This is ultimately where that that big uh, big conduit comes to. Okay, and there's the uh, there's the penstock, I assume. And there's your electricity. Now the Nantahala River from this point down is the flow of it is controlled by this powerhouse um, actually having said that I'm not sure if it's controlled by the powerhouse here or controlled by some sort of diversion system 
upstream at the dam itself. I think in this case it's probably controlled up at the dam. In other words, the dam controls how much water the powerhouse gets. And in turn, how much um, how much flow or how much the river gets. We're going to have a quick look at that as well, right up here. Looks like it's running pretty good. Right up here on the right is a, um, a big launch area, big parking and launch area for the people who uh, want to go canoeing, kayaking, and whatnot on the Nantahala. Um, it's, it's hugely popular and um, lots of commercial outfits as well run rafting operations. It's, it's big business on this river. Okay, we're about maybe three quarters of a mile or so downstream from that um, launch area and the uh, and the powerhouse. And there's a couple little bridges that go right across the river right here. Looks like it's flowing pretty well. The, uh, I've seen this river before when it was just a trickle, but I think the, um, the TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, presumably, who's in charge of it, I believe they let this river flow freely every day for, uh, I mean strictly just for, uh, for the purposes of recreational rafting. So I am currently on Winding Stairs Road and I have wanted to go up this road in the past. I've been here a couple times before but for a while now it's been closed for whatever reason and I understand that it has reopened again so we shall go see what Winding Stairs Road is all about. This gate was always shut before when I was here, so I guess we're good to go. Beautiful day. It's uh, a little chilly, maybe low 50s or so, but it's nice and sunny. It's supposed to get up into the mid 60s today. So far, I've gotten pretty lucky with weather again on this trip.
Oh, there's another dam. I guess we're at the top of Winding Stairs Road, so uh, yeah, there's the gate. Pretty fun. I guess not entirely out of the ordinary for this area, but yeah, I'm glad I finally got to do it. So there you have it, uh, a bit of Winding Stairs Road. And all you need to know about the Nantahala River. There's a pretty little lake up here. I don't know what the name of it is, but uh, I think we'll call it quits for now and we'll leave you with this last pretty view and we'll catch you later.